one of the things I've learned doing armouring is um, the amount of sewing that's involved. If I'd have known this previously, I don't think I'd have ever taken up the um, the craft. But, you know, I've come to like sewing. I wouldn't say I'm the greatest sewer in the world. There are far better examples of people who are better at sewing than me. Is my cat wandering in the background. Um, far better people than me that do sewing. Um, I'll put a few tailors that I admire, uh, historical tailors that I admire, um, in the details uh, below the video. But this just, uh, I thought I'd take a quick look at blanket stitch. It's really useful for running two edges together, uh, where you're not too fussed about the seam, but you just don't want this to pull apart, because what I'm going to do later is join the two blanket stitches together with another runner blanket stitch. And you see it from that side, it's all tidy. So, I thought I'd quickly show how to do blanket stitch for those of us that don't know how to do it. It's also handy if you've got a thick piece of material and you just want to preserve the edge uh, from pulling apart, like a blanket, which is possibly where we get blanket stitch from. Remember all the um, woolen blankets I used to use? Always had this stitch running down the edge. It's really straightforward. Just come back a little bit. Make sure your two edges are together, where I like to be able to see the back edge slightly because I know where it is. Keeping a relatively even spacing go straight through. A lot of mistakes I normally make are holding a needle like this and you end up just touching through on the back there so make sure you're perpendicular. Go through and what I've done is so I've gone through this loop and you just gently pull it tight and down and just tidy it up. Don't go cranking it because that can wreck the knot and you just keep going. Quite straightforward. Do another one this way. I've waxed this thread, which means it doesn't tie into a big knot when it gathers. Another way, that's the most efficient way in my opinion, is sometimes you'll find you've gone through but you haven't got this, that side to go through. It's no big deal. Just means you've got to do two movements. Get it there and hook it through. And you're done. Blanket stitch. Really straightforward, really useful. Especially for quick repairs, that sort of stuff. But I use it a lot when I've got to put padding together or multiple layers. I'm not too fussed about the stitch. I just want to hold them together securely um, in a way that a running stitch perhaps wouldn't. There you go. Blanket stitch. Really useful, really strong great for reinforcing uh, loose ends.